so I want to tell you guys something. I'm going to have my friend Paul Cartwright help me out. You can dim the lights a little bit. Dim the lights a little bit. So uh, a lot of people ask me, like, um, you know, what made you put out a three album, three disc album? So when I was working on this music, I started having this dream. <laughs> it sounds crazy, right? So I just wanted to tell y'all part of the dream that made this album what it is. Is that cool? So the dream starts off like this. There's a guard. I had it like 10 times, had this dream like 10 times. There was a guard in front of a gate. He doesn't do anything but guard the gate, nothing. He has no family, he has no friends, he has no home, he has no possessions. All he does is guard this gate. He doesn't do anything else. The gate is at the top of a huge mountain like bigger than Mount Everest. From the bottom of the, of the mountain, you can't even see the gate. And at the bottom of this mountain, there's a village. And there's all these people that live in the village. And all the people in the village do is train every day, all day, to be able to challenge this guard so they can become the guard, so they can guard the gate. That's all they cared about. That's all he cared about. So one day, four young warriors come up and they challenge the guard. The first one's super fast, like faster than anything you can ever imagine. But the guard beats him anyway. The second one is super strong, but the guard beats him anyway. The third one is fast and strong, but the guard beats him anyway. And the fourth one is faster and stronger than any of the other three, but the guard could still beat him and he sees openings where he could take him out, but he sees something special in him. He sees a spirit or like a power or something that he, he knows that's in himself as well. And so he has this thought that he never had before, that he didn't have to be the guard anymore. He can let, he can let this young man be the guard. So he makes a decision and he opens himself up and lets the young man basically take his life. The gates open and these people come and drag him into the gate. And just as he's about to go in the gate, he opens his eyes and you realize that none of that happened. He was just dreaming. He had been sitting on some stairs watching these young kids train in the village and just imagining that one day one of them was going to come and take his place. So then the dream would flash forward 10 years and those kids that he actually was watching, they actually were now at the level where they were gonna go challenge the guard and they were going up the mountain to come meet him. And uh, they get up to the top of the mountain and the guard is gone. He's not there. And the gate is destroyed. And like their whole lives are like crashing because that's all they ever did. All they ever thought about was coming and challenging this guard. And that's the plan. So stick around.